up and down just to get out on the water where the man said hot and getting hotter but he never said nothing about it raining like hell oh well a bad day of fishing beats a good day of anything else had a big one on and man i would have got it but he drug my pole straight down to the bottom and left me with nothing but a big old story to tell but a bad day of fishing means a good day of anything else all right folks this is a uh, pelican 10e i uh have some pros and cons I want to go over and and how I set this boat up the main the main feature here is I bought this boat to get on that truck unfortunately with the tailgate down I just cannot pick it up myself now I had everything out except for the black rubber mat this heavy stuff and that might contribute to another 20 pounds or so but that uh, if this thing weighs 145 without anything on it, I, I just couldn't do it. Now, maybe I'm just weak. I probably am compared to a lot of people. But I couldn't do it. So, you know, with the tailgate down, it's, it's, it's enough of a rise. I had a smaller truck than this. Probably could have done it. Uh, I couldn't do it here. So, I decided, okay... I have to get the trailer out and I'm going to trailer um, and what I have is just a Harbor Freight type of you know 8x4 I put carpeting on the on the bed of it and then uh, I made these bunks or not bunks I guess side rails whatever I put carpeting on them it's a tight fit because this right here is basically a plank uh, or a fence paling so it's not real thick if I put a 2x4 wouldn't work that has to be considered okay they're pressure treated they weren't exactly perfect but I think it'll at least keep the boat from sliding laterally on the trailer haven't figured out how to keep it from going front and back yet but uh, of course I'll clear this whole thing off once I'm done with this video and uh, put everything in the truck but I just wanted to show you how I have it set up as of right now of course I have the the transom mounted uh, motor and I turn the head around to make it bow mounted this is my anchoring system I tried different way of doing it that didn't turn out so um, but this is the best way I think just to have a rope and, and strap it around there uh, that's the only thing I can tell you it's hard to see out here in the Sun uh, this is gonna be my rope basically to tie it off so that the you know once I launch it I have some place to drag it back in um, this is gonna be my uh, eventually a battery box with a uh, fish finder on there didn't get it yet so it's no sense in even getting into it too much um, made the table with a number of uh, rod holders and net holder a table basically to you know set your tackle box up there you could uh, you know tie off uh, do whatever you want with a small table it doesn't take up a lot of room but it's useful to have something like that so you could put your tackle box or hooks whatever uh, pliers and uh, basically I you know the motor the battery will go back here and uh, and I put the uh, 60 amp breaker here so that uh, extra protection uh, pros and cons well number one con was I it's heavy that's a that's that's something big I didn't think I'd have a problem with it but I was wrong okay so maybe you won't but for me it wasn't easy I mean I was able to do it but really I didn't want to struggle that hard and at the boat ramp when the when the the boat or the truck wasn't quite on the flat all over it just made it even steeper because the, the tailgate was even higher my son and i both struggled to pick it up so 
either a bunch of wussies or <laughs> the boat was just heavy so uh that was definitely a con pros we went out last week fished it does great it does great plenty of leg room uh even without the pedestal it still was pretty comfortable although this pad definitely made a difference and my son and i sat for seven hours our butts were hurting a little bit even with this thing it hurt um i was able to stand uh and cast but it's still a little wobbly uh that's probably insufficient uh sea legs that's what i'll call it i'm pretty sure if i kept doing it and practiced I would get a little bit more stable with my own balance and I'd be fine. Um, negative was I lost a rod because I made the mistake of laying it here on this side rail. And because it was on this side rail and when you spin around with your feet, I kicked it off accidentally. So word to the wise, be careful with that. Uh, I would and I plan on always putting my rods where they belong from now on because you can't you can't make a mistake like that especially if you it wasn't the best equipment but if it was expensive stuff you know just spend a couple hundred dollars for anything you're going to be crying so my buddy said he would have jumped in the water well the water is probably 25 feet deep uh cold it was only 50 some degrees out you know i don't know if that would be a good idea either <laughs> but he might have he's crazy um the trailer is like i said four by eight so it's a little long the boat's a little long for the trailer but i think it'll work out okay i had a similar boat to this in a trailer setup and it worked so but this is a much bigger boat um i had one of those sportsman type boats and that was only eight feet but it was still easy enough to get it back on and off the trailer probably have to go deep enough that you know you could the water will give it some buoyancy and help me pick it up in front. I could do it in the yard. I'm pretty sure I could do it once it has some buoyancy. Um, I'm gonna get into a touchy subject here and you could call me whatever names you want in the comment lines, but I had a pee bad and uh, I couldn't find a place to, to land this boat where I was. So I had a, I had a, to make a decision of bringing a pee bottle with me and of course I'll be as discreet as possible but you know it's part of the part of the, one of the bad things that happened that's a con probably won't happen to you but you're gonna have to take that in consideration when you're out there hundreds of yards away from a dock and the, the banks are steep enough you don't know really how to get out so you know no place to hide out there uh, so you have to be careful I guess with that um, other than that i mean the boat really did a great job um it with the 55 pound thrust motor i have on here it did fine in fact uh one through four i would consider moderate speeds you know one is what i used to maintain where i was on the boat at all uh, on the lake that was easy a little little push here and there it was fine when i hit number five <laughs> that thing took off it almost it it almost jerked you back in your seat so that's a lot of thrust there i was uh, actually amazed um my battery which is a new one 27 group ran fine all day and i didn't even come close to losing power because when i came back my voltmeter told me i was like 12.5 and 12.6 is like 100% fully charged. So I, after seven hours of buzzing around and stuff, um, I was in good shape. So not too worried about that. I did have to get a wooden paddle. And I bought a cheap one, plastic kind, from Walmart. And I replaced it with a wooden one. In fact, my son Matthew bought it for me. Because if you're in a shallows... And you need to push this boat off you need something with some girth and those cheapo plastic ones for four bucks at walmart i don't know man they're like aluminum and pl i i just think you're gonna you might break a paddle so if i'm gonna go by myself this may not be great for paddling to bring it back in an emergency but to push you off you almost need it that's something else to consider so um 
overall, I'd have to say, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Watching it, I'll be by myself. But uh, I think this, this bow is going to work out pretty darn fine. So, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment if you want. Uh, the pros definitely outweigh the cons for this boat. That's the main subject of this. Uh, even though I had to make some different alterations in my own thoughts and what I thought I would have to do or be able to do, this was, uh, to me, the best alternative. So, subscribe. Maybe you could... Uh, see some frolicking around i'm going to be using a gopro tomorrow hopefully get some live footage as i'm wearing the gopro we'll see how that goes um well thanks a lot for watching